Hello scouts, it's Mr. Kugler and I'm back around the fire pit today, but I'm going to be using the Dutch oven table and I'm going to be using my homemade Dutch oven, which is made up of three pie tins uh, that are put together and will create a faux Dutch oven for me to make a single serving dessert. Now my single serving dessert for today is going to be a variation of my favorite monkey bread, but this time it's going to include some cherry pie filling. And it really doesn't get much simpler than this. We're going to add some chocolate chips into it. So it's going to be a chocolate cherry monkey bread with a little bit of sugar. All right, a little bit more of sugar and uh, a hint of cinnamon. And we're going to cook it not only in our faux Dutch oven, but we're going to use this can as the vessel that we're going to cook it in that is from canned chicken breast. Uh, we're going to start off with a little bit of butter in the bottom of that. We'll melt it up and we're going to have a delicious dessert. So let me clear up some of this stuff and we'll get going making our cherry chocolate single serving monkey bread. So the first thing I need to do is I need to put together my faux Dutch oven and I'm have another one here uh, that's not put together yet so I can show you how it goes together and how simple it is to make. These are just three standard nine inch aluminum pie tins. These are commercial grade, uh, so they're a little thicker. And I hold them for traveling together with this thumb screw in a, in a wing nut. So I start by taking the two pans that have holes drilled through them. And I'm going to take the thumb turn in one of the washers and I'm going to put it down through the hole of one pan and then through the hole in the bottom pan. Then I'll take and I'll flip it over so I have the thread showing. I'll put the other washer and the wing nut and fasten it together. So with our two containers together, I have the bottom vessel and that's where I'm going to put this can that's going to have our single serving dessert right in this in the center there. And then we'll go ahead and we'll put this top on. Uh, we'll put the binder clips on and we'll be good to go uh, baking up this single serving dessert. One of the first things that I need to do is I'm going to need to take a tablespoon of butter. On the back side of the butter container is some measurements that'll give you an indication of how much a tablespoon of butter actually is without having to use a spoon. So I'm gonna take and follow those markings. I'm going to cut roughly a tablespoon of butter. I'm gonna take and I'm gonna add that right in my can just to ensure that my monkey bread doesn't stick to the sides. I'm just gonna take some nonstick spray and off to the back here, I'm just going to spray a little bit of oil on the sides of the inside of the can. My butter in place and my container oiled, I'm going to take and put some coals on our Dutch oven table underneath a Dutch oven lid. And this is going to create the space that we need so that our pan is not sitting directly on top of the coals. I'm going to take and add about six coals on my Dutch oven table. Put them in a circle about the diameter of the pie tins. Take my Dutch oven stand, lid stand, put that over the coals. Then I'm going to add my, I'm going to place my butter on top of that put just a lid loosely there so I can keep an eye on it. And what I want to do is I want to melt down that butter. While my butter's melting, I'm going to get going on preparing our dessert. And it's going to start with a tablespoon of granulated sugar. I'm going 
going to take and put it in a Ziploc sandwich bag. Then I'm going to add just a little sprinkle of cinnamon. Doesn't take much. My cinnamon added, I'll seal up the bag. Just make sure it's all nicely incorporated. I'll put on some gloves so I can handle our biscuits. Now I have a container of the large grands, uh, the, the biscuits. Uh, there's eight in a container. I'm just going to use two of these biscuits. So my two biscuits out, I'm going to take and I'm going to cut basically using a tic-tac-toe pattern. Uh, so I'm going to get roughly about nine pieces out of each one of these biscuits. Now what I'll do is I'm going to add these individual pieces in my Ziploc bag, shaking to ensure that they're coated with that sugar and that hint of cinnamon. And by shaking as I add them, I'll help prevent everything from sticking together again. With all my pieces of biscuit in there, I'll just make sure everything is thoroughly coated with that cinnamon and sugar. So my biscuit pieces totally coated uh, with that granulated sugar and the cinnamon. I'm going to move on to opening up my can of cherry pie filling. Take a break and check on my butter. So I took and added some heat to the top of my uh, faux Dutch oven and some additional coals below because my butter was taking a little longer than I wanted to uh, to melt. And it's a good way to get a sense for the temperature within your uh, faux Dutch oven, especially when we're just melting butter versus when we're baking something and running the risk of burning it. Uh, so my butter is almost done. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another set of gloves on. And I'm going to finish mixing up our ingredients for our chocolate cherry monkey bread. I'm going to take our bag. And right in the bag, I'm going to put two tablespoons of chocolate chips. Take seal the bag again. And just spread it equally around our biscuits. I'll take and I'm going to add about two spoons full of the cherry pie filling into our bag. Maybe a little extra. Take seal our bag again. And what I want to do, if I need to, I could release a little air trying to take and get those ingredients to fully incorporate with one another. Let's take and move it down towards the bottom of the bag. Let's check on our butter. Ah, perfect. Our butter is fully melted. So now I'll take with my knife, I'm going to cut off the corner of the bag here. I want to make a pretty big hole because remember, I'm trying to get those biscuits out as well. And I'm going to take and just dump that into our can here. So with the contents of the bag in our pan, I'm just going to take the spoon that I use for the cherries and just try to level things off a little bit. I was holding it with these tongs uh, to make sure I didn't get burned holding the can. My gloves back on. Put the lid back on of our faux Dutch oven. Put the binder clips back around. Just 
just like regular Dutch oven cooking, I want to come in and get a sense for the heat that's coming off of my Dutch oven so I could check it periodically and add additional coals to the bottom and the top as is necessary to keep a nice even baking temperature. So throughout the baking cycle, even though I'm using the ring me method of coals, I'm going to come in and spin my top one direction and lift up with my gloves on the base and move it another direction. That'll help even out the heat uh, as it cooks and bakes the bread so that we have an even baking and we don't have some areas that are burnt and other areas that are underdone. So we'll let our cherry chocolate monkey bread uh, get going baking. Uh, we'll try not to look too often, but, and I'll let you know how it goes uh, when we come back to our fully baked cherry chocolate monkey bread, single serving size. So scouts, anything worth having sometimes involves a little bit of patience. And uh, the reality is with that chicken can being so deep, it's taking a lot longer. We're approaching an hour. And if we had used a pan like this, I'm sure it would have baked in about half the time. Uh, but we'll see, you know, I'm sure it came out fine anyways. It's just whether or not you have the time and the patience uh, to go the hour uh, stocking the coals and keeping an eye on this. So let's go in, let's get our cherry chocolate monkey bread and we'll try to flip it out onto this plate and uh, see how tasty it is. Uh, so I could tell from the top that our biscuits are done. And while I have it in the pan, I'm just gonna, and it's pulling away a little bit from the edge. I'm just gonna go around the edge here and loosen that up my knife there and with my gloves on oh ho, 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 ho. look at that cherry is sliding off that chocolate is there those biscuits are cooked perfectly and uh, I think I'm gonna enjoy this so here we have our cherry chocolate monkey bread a single serving size made with two biscuits of Pillsbury Grands, each cut into nine pieces. We put them into a Ziploc bag with a tablespoon of granulated sugar and a little hit of cinnamon. We dusted them well. Then we added two tablespoons of chocolate chips and two heaping tablespoons of cherry can pie filling. We baked it for about an hour uh, in our can that had uh, chicken breast in it before. And here we have the perfect single serving, tasty dessert around the campfire. Try new things, get out there with your patrol mates, try different methods, different recipes, but most of all, get out in the great outdoors and have some fun.